Hello everyone and happy Tuesday. Hope you had a great 4th of July last week. So I had fun searching for some inspirational stories and this one is a short, cute story called Wet Pants. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Come with me to a third grade classroom. There's a nine-year-old kid sitting at his desk and all of a sudden there is a puddle between his feet and the front of his pants are wet. He thinks his heart is going to stop because he cannot possibly imagine how this has happened. It's never happened before, and he knows that when the boys find out, he will never hear the end of it. And when the girls find out, they'll never speak to him again as long as he lives. The boy believes his heart is going to stop. He puts his head down and prays this prayer. Dear God, this is an emergency. I need help now. Five minutes from now, I'm dead meat. He looks up from his prayer, and here comes the teacher with a look in her eyes that says he has been discovered. As the teacher is walking toward him, a classmate named Susie is carrying a goldfish bowl that is filled with water. Susie trips in front of the teacher and inexplicably dumps the bowl of water in the boy's lap. The boy pretends to be angry, but all the while is saying to himself, Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Now all of a sudden, instead of being the object of ridicule, the boy is the object of sympathy. The teacher rushes him downstairs and gives him gym shorts to put on while his pants dry out. All the other children are on their hands and knees cleaning up around his desk. The sympathy is wonderful. But as life would have it, the ridicule that should have been his has been transferred to someone else, Susie. She tries to help, but they tell her to get out. You've done enough, klutz. Finally, at the end of the day, as they are waiting for the bus, the boy walks over to Susie and whispers, You did that on purpose, didn't you? Susie whispers back, I wet my pants once, too. May we all see the opportunities that are always around us to do good. And if we think back to Jesus, didn't Jesus do only good things? And then wasn't he ridiculed and hung on a cross to die? But he came back, didn't he? to bring us the good news of the gospel. That Jesus is alive, that Jesus is with us now and always, and that good will always prevail. Have an amazing rest of your day, and God bless you all.